Hi there. Today we're going to be having a look at my top 10 Home Assistant integrations. Number 10 on my list is power monitoring. This is really useful because it gives you a very good idea of what's going on in your house at any one time. Now ideally you'd want to monitor every single circuit within your house, but I currently only have two power clamps. I'm using power clamps from Sonoff. And as you can see here, this one measures the total power excluding hot water heating. So if I click on this, you can very easily see the times of the day where I'm using high levels of power. If we click on the hot water heater, you can clearly see when it clicks on and off after the time I may have had a shower and the heating comes on. Another way of viewing energy usage within your home is through using the Home Assistant Energy System. Here you can add multiple different power usage sources into the system and it will then start graphing on an hourly basis the amount of power used by those different devices. Number nine on my integration list is door locks. I currently use the Schlage front door lock, which allows me to control it via Wi-Fi, and there's a direct integration into Home Assistant. Home Assistant. So here you can see we can easily control locking and unlocking. We can also turn on and off the one-touch locking. We can control the auto locking system, and we can also control whether the system is beeping as well as monitoring the battery. I've then created automations within my system to unlock the door as I get home and lock it just after I've left. You can do this either via using the GPS functionality within the smartphone app or via seeing when your phone is connected to your local Wi-Fi network. Number eight on the list would have to be local voice control. I recently integrated the new preview edition from Home Assistant and this is working amazingly, especially when you integrate it to an LLM, which gives it that extra understanding of what you're asking for. Number seven on the list is robot vacuums. I'm currently using the Roborock S8, which has an awesome integration into Home Assistant. As you can see here, we've got control over when the unit is docked. And from here, we can start it, pause it, send it back to home, or locate the device. We've also got access to all sorts of things like the cleaning area, the battery percentage. We can tell when things need to be replaced like the brushes and the filters, and we can get it to send us alerts based on time and when we need to replace those devices. It even shows the map within Home Assistant. Number six is presence. I use a millimeter wave sensor from Apollo Automation, which gives me a really good control of the lights in my bathroom. So when I walk in, they turn off and they stay on all the time while I'm having a shower and turn off when I leave. So I'm using the Apollo Mark I MSR1 device. This is an ESP home device. So it's completely local within Home Assistant. As you can see, it's got all sorts of sensors on top of the millimeter wave. We've got humidity, barometric pressure, temperature, carbon dioxide, light and UV levels. And then of course, we've got all the radar sensing so that I can use this device for all sorts of monitoring within my bathroom. And then I can trigger things like my ventilation system to boost up when I've either got too much CO2 or too much moisture in the bathroom. Number six, is climate control. Now in New Zealand, we don't generally have whole home heating systems. So I use a local heat pump within my living space. This has got both heating and cooling, and I've got an integration into Home Assistant, which is via a HAX integration. Yes, it's going via the cloud, but it still offers me pretty good control, and I've had no issues with it as yet. Number four would have to be Music Assistant. Music Assistant allows me to control multiple music streams as well as streaming that music to different rooms of my home. Music Assistant even brings in color artworks and each individual track gives you a whole lot more information. From here, you can stream to all sorts of music devices within your home. I even set up Volumio, which is a Raspberry Pi streaming based system that I'm using with my Retro Hi-Fi. Plant monitoring would be number three on my list. 
Currently, I'm using the Apollo sensors to measure moisture of the soil, but also things like temperature and humidity, as well as light for that individual plant. And it allows me to have an alarm to go off and send me a text when the plant needs watering. There's even a custom plant interface that you can download from Hacks, where it will actually download the individual requirements for each plant and actually monitor the growth performance of each plant. In the latest release of Home Assistant for this month, they've now integrated this system called LetPot. It actually has these grow lights at the top and a watering system, and all this can be automated from within Home Assistant. Number two on the list would have to be monitoring the indoor conditions of my home. This includes temperature, humidity, CO2, and many more things. It's really interesting to see how quickly CO2 levels rise in your bedroom once you close the door at night. My heat recovery ventilation system always makes sure that I don't go over a thousand parts per million and it will boost up the speed of the fan if it reaches that threshold. I'm also able to monitor humidity and temperature within the bedroom and I can trigger things like my heat pump in the bedroom to come on should it go too high at night. Number one on my list is lighting. Now I've got a whole lot of different ways that I'm controlling light within the different rooms and areas within my home. In most of the rooms, I have Shelly relays installed behind the light switches. These are really cool because they easily allow you to turn the switch or use the automation to turn the lights on and off. One of the beauties of the Shelly devices is that they now come with Bluetooth, so they can be used as a Bluetooth proxy as well. I also have a number of WLED strips installed across my home, under counters, behind my TV, etc. Anyway, that's all for now. Don't worry, I haven't forgot one more important integration. Of course, that's security cameras. I currently make use of the Reolink cameras because they integrate so easily into Home Assistant. One thing that I would like to add on as a bolt-on to Home Assistant this year is the Frigate system because this allows you a whole lot more in the way of customized AI detection and alerts that you can use to control the feeds from your cameras and give you alerts based on things happening. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've really tried to take a little bit of an overview of my system and give you an idea of some of the important areas that I'm using within Home Assistant. I'm really excited to see what 2025 is going to bring and I will be shortly doing a live stream with a whole lot of YouTubers bringing you more information about what their thoughts are. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so it can be shared amongst more members of YouTube. Bye for now.